Sure. Or watching, uh, okay. uh, coming across mm. Ahmed channel. Okay, okay. And I'm finding it very, very interesting. Thank so you very much. If the Molana Sahib could explain to me okay. what does Ahli Bayt mean? Is Ahli it part of okay, Shia thank you. Or no? I'd be very grateful. Thank, thank you, thank you very, much. very much for your question, thank you, brother. brother. You know, the term of Ahlul Bayt or Ahli Bayt in Urdu, in Arabic is Ahlul Bayt, as in Quran Allah says, Innama Yuridullahu. لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّجِسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيُطَهِّرَكُمْ تَطْهِيرًا That is in Quran. In Urdu and Farsi, it is Ahl al-Bayt. Same meaning. Ahl al-Bayt are the progeny of the Prophet, who are the infallible progeny. Not all his family members, not all of them. Only the infallible, about whom the Prophet said. And the Prophet himself, in many hadiths, in many Sunni books, he said, after, after calling Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein, and putting on all of them a cloak, piece of cloth, and he said, Allahumma haulai ahlu bayti. Oh Allah, these are my progeny. Ahlul bayt are the infallible progeny, the most pious people after the Prophet, most knowledgeable after the Prophet. The followers of Ahlul Bayt are called Shia Muslims. Our faith is exactly what the Prophet said. Exactly, without any deviation. We don't believe in sects. With all our respect to our Muslim brothers from any sect, we believe that all Muslims are Muslims. But we don't follow any sect. We follow the prophetic teachings Purely, exactly, completely. From where we got the teachings? From the most authentic source, who are the progeny of the Prophet, Ahlul Bayt. We believe in everything in Quran, everything in Tawheed, in Nubuat, in the day of Qiyamah, judgment. And we believe also that Allah is absolute just, and we believe that the Prophet did tell the Ummah many times who will be the divine leaders, his successors after him, not to let people go astray. He told them that after me, keep holding in following two most important things, the book of Allah and my progeny Ahlul Bayt. And he said that after me will be 12 divine successors, this is the faith of Ahlul Bayt, which is the faith of real Islam, Islam the original. This is a very brief answer, but if you want more details, if you send an email, I'll be more than happy to send you. Now, so we had a question from an individual. Basically, he was, he was not born uh, in a Shia family, but he heard a lot of bad things about Shia Muslims. But after having done research, he's considering to be a Shia, become a Shia. Mm -hmm. However, that he found that um, the, one of the questions was that to follow the Ahlul Bayt is means to follow the wives. Is that correct? That's the first part of the question. Okay. Starting with the situation of many non-Shia Muslims, who hear a lot of bad things about Shia Muslims, I would like to tell them that it is like the situation of many non-Muslims who hear a lot of bad things about Islam and Muslims. Can you say that they are all right? No, they are not excused unless they do research. Non-Muslim who is living in a non-Muslim family and non-Muslim atmosphere is not pardoned at all if he believes what he hears about Islam and Muslims from non-Muslims. He should research. And now this is very easy. Anyone can go to the internet and research easily. Not that someone can say, I have no access to knowledge. No, you have. Nowadays, 
Internet is one of the very good ways to access knowledge. Research and see the reality of Islam and Muslims from Muslim books, from Muslim resources. Same with Shia Islam, which is the real Islam, the original Islam. Of course, all Muslims are Muslims. But real Islam, complete Islam, pure Islam, intact Islam is Islam of the Prophet and Ahlul Bayt, which is being followed by the Shia Muslims. Those who are born in non-Shia families should not take whatever they hear about Shias for granted. They should research. Research and see. Because as Islam is being accused falsely, wrongly, Shia Islam is being exactly accused falsely and wrongly. Exactly the same. Lot of things you hear if you are non-Shia Muslim. You will hear a lot of things about Shia Muslims which are baseless if you research. My respected brother, research. Ask. Ask Shias who have got knowledge, not those who have no knowledge. Read Shia books. Then you will know what is the reality of Shia Islam, and you will discover yourself that Shia Islam is the Islam of the Prophet through his Ahlul Bayt. And we have taken that original Islam from Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon him and them. Now, the question, who are Ahlul Bayt? Are Ahlul Bayt the wives of the Prophet, peace be upon him and his holy progeny? Or Ahlul Bayt are not the wives. I don't want you to listen to me or to my opinion. I should not have any opinion in religion. We should take religion as the Prophet told us. The religion is not a place of opinions. We take whatever the Prophet told us and we leave whatever the Prophet told us to leave. I want you to go to the prophetic, authentic hadiths and ask the Prophet, who are your Ahlul Bayt? You know, Ahlul Bayt in Arabic language is your household. But here it is not a matter of linguistic meaning. No, it is a terminology. I don't talk about the linguistic meaning because in Islam we have got many things which have got different meaning from its linguistic meaning. Say salah. You know salah in Arabic as language is dua, just dua. So when the time of salah comes, salat al-maghrib now after say 15 minutes, can anyone sit and say dua and then finished? I, per I perform my salah. Dua. No, we say Salah in the language is dua, but in the terminology of Islam is that actions of ruku', sujood, and all the practices of the Salah. Ahlul Bayt is a term. The Prophet himself told the Ummah, who are his Ahlul Bayt? Let me go through some of the Sunni books in this regard. Sunni books in this regard narrated hadiths from the Prophet about who are Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. Okay, let me take some of the hadiths. In short, the Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny, called Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein, and put on all of them a cloak. Clo cloak means like cloth, kisa. And he said, Allahumma haulai ahlu bayti. Oh Allah, these are my ahlul bayt. This incident took place in many 
occasions, many occasions. Once in the house of Umm Salama, the great respected wife of the Prophet, who is most respected after Khadija, the best of the wives of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his holy progeny after Khadija was Umm Salama. Umm Salama. She said that at my house, in my house, the Prophet called Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein and said, These are my Ahlul Bayt. I seek permission from him to join them. He did not allow me. He said, No. These are my Ahlul Bayt. True. Which means, wives are not included. Even Aisha, daughter of Abu Bakr, she narrated that in her house, the Prophet repeated the same. And when she requested to be included with Ahlul Bayt, the Prophet did not allow her. Okay, now let us see some of these hadiths, please. The first I'm quoting here from Musannaf ibn Abi Shayba, the well-known teacher of Bukhari, Ibn Abi Shayba. This hadith is narrated, narrated from Wathila, who said that I myself saw the Prophet when he called Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein, and put on them clock, Kisa, and he said, Allahumma ha'ulai ahlul bayti. Oh Allah, these are my ahlul bayt. Allah knows who are the ahlul bayt, but the Prophet was teaching the Muslims, informing the Muslims who are ahlul bayt. This is in Musannaf ibn Abi Shayba, volume 7, page 501. Also the same hadith is in Al-Sunan Al-Kubra by Al-Bayhaqi, Al-Bayhaqi, volume 2, page 150, same exactly, that the Prophet called Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein, and he said, Oh Allah, these are my Ahlul Bayt. It is also in Al-Mustadrak al sahihain volume 8, page 220. In front of me, 98 Sunni books of Hadith. 98 quotations from Sunni books of Hadith. This is an authentic Hadith that no one can challenge it. Now, some people are claiming that no, Ahlul Bayt means the wives. I mean, do you go against what the Prophet said? If Ahlul Bayt were the wives of the Prophet, then why did the Prophet stop Umm Salama, stop Aisha from joining Ahlul Bayt? Because they are not from Ahlul Bayt. Wives are wives, not from the Ahlul Bayt. Also, we find that this claim that the wives are included in Ahlul Bayt, this claim does not have any authentic evidence. The narrator is Akrima. Akrima was well-known enemy of Ahlul Bayt. Akrima was well-known enemy of Ahlul Bayt. And he narrated this without authentic narrator who heard it from the Prophet. So a liar without any authentic narrator who heard from a Prophet claiming that the wives are Ahlul Bayt. How can you accept it and reject the authentic hadiths? So if you want the truth, this is the truth. Ahlul Bayt are Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein, and the infallible son and grandchildren of Imam Hussein because of 
the information that Ahlul Bayt, the Prophet and Ahlul Bayt told us that after Imam Hassan will be nine infallible Imams. So these are Ahlul Bayt. You want to follow Ahlul Bayt? Follow real Ahlul Bayt and don't go away from the truth. Yes. In Al Mustadrak Al Sahihain, Um Salama, the respected wife of the Prophet, Ummul Mu'mineen, Umm Salama, you know Umm Salama is the best wife among all the wives of the Prophet after Khadija. As far as piousness and obeying the Prophet is concerned. Umm Salama said that at my, in my house, this verse was revealed. إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرَّجْسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ The Prophet called Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussein. Umm Salama said, I told the Prophet, am I not from your family members? He replied me, you are not from Ahlul Bayt, but you will be on good innaki ala khair. You will be on good position, but not from Ahlul Bayt. This hadith is in Al Mustadrak al Sahihain by Al Hakim and Nisaburi. All Sunni ulama know this important book of hadith al mustadrak ala sahihain it is volume 8 page 220 and al mustadrak after quoting this hadith from um salama he adds al hakim he writes hadha hadith sahih ala shart al bukhari wa lam yukhrijah this is an authentic hadith according to the condition of Bukhari. Yet, it is not mentioned in Bukhari and Muslim. This is also another evidence who are Ahlul Bayt. When the Prophet did not allow Umm Salama, his wife, to join Ahlul Bayt, means Ahlul Bayt are those who are being mentioned, Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein, and of course after them the infallible Imams from the sons of Imam Hussein and his grandsons. These are Ahlul Bayt. None of the wives were included in Ahlul Bayt. In fact, we have got also Hadith from Aisha, daughter of Abi Bakr herself. Aisha herself says that the Prophet repeated the same in front of Aisha, calling Fatima, Ali, Hassan, Hussein, and putting on them a clock, kisa, and saying, Oh Allah, these are my Ahl Bayt. Aisha said, I wanted to join them. The Prophet stopped me. No, these are my Ahlul Bayt. Those who claim that Ahlul Bayt are the wives are just going against the authentic hadiths. They have got one narration from one of the enemies of Ahlul Bayt, Akrima. Akrima is a one, one of the liars who is well known in opposing and hating Ahlul Bayt. Akrama claimed without any authentic hadith. So they, these people are leaving all the authentic hadiths of the Prophet and trying to take a statement of a liar. Recently, one Sunni alim has published a book in which he discussed this issue 
of who are Ahlul Bayt. And he said that the wives of the Prophet, nine wives, every one from them had her, her own bait. The Prophet did not make all his wives live together. No, every one from them has got her own bait home. So there is no one home which includes all of them. If the wives were meant in this verse, it should be Ahlul Buyut because they had homes. In Arabic, it cannot be one home. It should be plural. That's what this Sunni alim say, that this verse of Ahlul Bayt does not mean any of the wives of the Prophet. It means only what we read in the authentic hadith is Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein alayhim